going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys listen this story broke yesterday i seen it this morning and i couldn't believe it i gotta talk on this this is the story about these two people up here this is shane and karen halstead these people right here are heartless savages why you might ask and this story is out of alabama you know what i'm saying shout out alabama and uh what they did is heinous to their own child and uh i don't know if he was alive or not and i don't want to tell you too much i just want you to look at this video this is hard to believe take a look at this and we'll just come back and talk about it i mean some people are beyond stupid look New information is being released regarding the case of a couple who allegedly put their dead son in a broken freezer. Joining us live from Henry County is News 4's Will Polston. Will, what do we know after the Halsteads made their initial appearance today? Well, Kinsley, we know some information such as the condition of the body and where it was found and how it was found. But a lot of conflicting testimonies between both Michael and Karen Halstead and it's leading to a lot of conflicting facts. And so right now, the Henry County Sheriff's Office is just working to put everything together to find out what truly happened on that crime scene. Michael and Karen Halstead made their initial appearances Monday. They were arrested Sunday on one count of abusing a corpse, the corpse of their 19-year-old son, Logan, who was found dead and wrapped up in a freezer. Henry County Sheriff Eric Blankenship says that the body was found by the new homeowner at the old Halstead residence. Throughout their course of them cleaning out the residence and, and they got to the backyard and cleaning up stuff in the backyard, that's where they discovered the body and then that's how we were notified. According to reports, the Halstead family had been away from this home for more than a month. From evidence that we gathered on scene of paperwork and so forth like that, we're thinking somewhere around uh, mid to late September. Investigator Sean Robinson with the Henry County Sheriff's Office says that Logan could have been in that freezer even longer. He stated the decomposition was so far along, it could point back to a death all the way back in late July. We're, we're kind of going through everything, you know, and sifting through all the evidence and trying to build that motive and trying to figure out what the, you know, the ulterior motive was here to, you know, to put your son in a in a freezer. During the appearance, Michael Halstead said Karen had nothing to do with this. He said that she didn't know about Logan's death for a while, but officials say that the couple's stories haven't lined up. While the investigation continues, the sheriff's office will work to find the facts. There was just a lot of discrepancies in the in the stories, in the timelines, and, and so forth, which kind of threw up some red flags with us that there may be, uh, you know, something else behind this or something that that both parties are not being truthful about. All right, guys, uh, this took place in Henry County, Alabama, uh, by the way. Now, listen, either these people are totally dumb or too stupid to remember. They said the story is conflicting. He said it's not the wife's fault. She has nothing to do with it. So we'll take it on that on, on them grounds right now. So you, your son died mysteriously he had spina bifida a lot of y'all don't know what spina bifida is that's when your spine be like contorted and all this other stuff a lot of times people be bedridden i think i think spina bifida is what the the sister had on uh pet cemetery remember she was in the bed all mangled up i think that's called spina bifida too somebody correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but anyway he had that condition you know what i'm saying god bless him but listen whether he died at the hands of mr halstead or he didn't. He died of natural causes, which I don't understand. Because when you have that condition, your mind is still right. Your body's just contorted. The cause of death is not known. He says she ain't got nothing to do with it. So you pick the body up, put him in the freezer in the backyard in the heat. Guys, they talking about, I looked at different uh, things with the cause, the, the timeline of death. They said he could be out there as early as June. I mean, July. In them 90 degree temperatures they got out there. It's hot in an abandoned, unplugged deep freezer at the back of the yard. You put his body in there. What you do that for? What are you practicing taxidermy? What you going to have him stuffed? 
Who does that? Who does that? Why you can call a medical exam? But you know what? I don't even deal with this because this is stupid. But check it out. He says she didn't know until later. Okay, so how are you going to explain that to the mother of a child with a disability that you took him and put him in a damn dirty ass freezer in the backyard that ain't plugged up so he can rot and turn in the soup? And she rode with that. Oh, Shane, why? why? Like, like it, it don't even make sense. They had blue handcuffs. Did you see that? That was kind of fly. But anyway, the bottom line is this. The, the boy's name was Logan. Logan Halstead, may he rest in peace. But the bottom line is you didn't follow any type of common sense adult parental protocol if you had a dead son that wasn't at your hands. Now you all have been in the mix. They don't know if it's foul play or not. Autopsy report is coming and you look dumb as hell. Stupid. Ain't no way as a woman, if I was a woman, and my husband, what kind of story did he tell her, y'all? That must have been a hell of a story he told her to make her go, okay. Well, he had to be stinking. And then let me show y'all another thing how dumb these people is. They own that house. They was renting the house out and then they sold the house to owners, right? So the new owners came and was just cleaning the place up, I guess, when they closed on the sale. And you had this body back there. You took everything except that. How quickly do we forget that we have children? Like I tell you, man, it's like children are not human beings no more. They just things. They did him like he was a flower pot and the flower stopped growing in it. Up, oh, take it off the porch. Just sit in the back. Oh, we forgot. He gets locked up and then reports. Oh, ah, I left my son in the freezer at the house uh, uh, to another uh, county when he got arrested. Why? Why? This is some savage behavior from savage folk. I, I don't understand this. 19 years of your life of being repetitively caring for somebody if they cared for them at all. And all of a sudden you stop doing it and then you forget that even existed. You left and drove away from that house knowing that your son was in a fucking freezer in the backyard. Decomposing. Make that make sense to me or anybody out here that's listening. I hope they get the full extent of Alabama law, or whatever it is out there that they do, because this is careless, reckless behavior, especially from a man. You had this woman convinced you convinced her that, uh, you know, to still stay with you after you did such a heinous crime. But. She didn't have enough wisdom and, and forethought, hey. We can get in trouble. You got to get rid of this thing out here, which is still messed up. But why, why, why did he didn't call nobody and tell him? I mean, he's out of school. I understand that. But I mean, come on, man. Come on. No compassion at all for your son. I wonder if they even grieved. They probably was like a lot of these other cases I do. Ugh, I'm glad we ain't got to care for him no more. Let's just enjoy the moment. Get the fuck out of here. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Music Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.